And welcome back to Gordo's Games. This is Gordo. I'm just bringing to, uh, today another deck profile. This is my black deck, and it is uh, all about those blockers. As my good friend Gandalf will say, uh, will say, you shall not pass. So here we go. I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, so we're playing four Kaporimon and one Sumon. Pretty straightforward. I'm playing with blockers. Toy Agumon's one of the best ones. If I get reboots on there, I'm getting that extra thousand DP. This one, on the odd occasion. It can come off like, yeah, let's say I've got a, got, I've, I've got, like, no, no, it doesn't really ever really come off, it's just there. Uh, so, yeah, it's just five digits armor. Uh, moving on to level threes, I believe I run 12. I will tell you now. For Toyagamon. Um, do I need to explain? It's probably the best level three in black at this time, and obviously, I know we only have a small card pool at the moment. But just to give something a reboot and how relevant it is, I mean, except for purple, this this card the bane of my life with a purple deck because Trump Sword's constantly alive. Um, moving on to the next one, we've got four Got Someone because Rookie Blocker, yes please, and Got Someone's just a lad. And then we've got the Vanilla for Hogoromon. So we're running 12 of there. As you see, we've got the reboot, we've got the blocker, and then we've got the cost curve. So that is the level threes. Now this next card makes me say that I'm not playing 12 level threes, I'm actually playing 16. Um, Numimon. I know it's a level four, but I never consider it as one, so I, I do. I think that with the deck I am playing around about 16 rookies, because I'm happy to hard cast this. But if I'm digivolve into it for one, I'm, I'll happily take that cost curve. So yeah, Numimon is just an all around good card. And then we got the four Greymon. Um, going to the Toy Agumon lineup, it's a great card. And um, you get everything, anything that has reboot gets jamming, so that's amazing. So, you not only you're getting the reboot, you're going to save swing, so you can then start swinging through with no risk to yourself and then re standing. And then, probably one of my favorite, one of my, my favorite level fours, and I know it can't attack, and I know people may not like it, but you know, Guardian one. I mean, just look at the guy, he's level four. He's got 7k with the tamer out, he's 8k. Sure, he can't attack, but you, you, you don't want to attack him. He's a good guy. So, yeah, uh, 12 level fours there. Uh, moving on to level fives, we've got Gardramon's mess mate, Andromon, four off. You're noticing a theme here. Every level's got a blocker. We're all about blocking. Um, moving on to the next one, Metal Grey one. So, we've got the defensive lineups from the blockers. We've got the aggressive lineup for the, the Greymon. And with that lineup, it, gets, it just gets better and better because he has reboot himself. So with the jamming, he gets some Greymon below him. He can swing safely at 7k. I say safely as long as there's no option cards. Guy of Force, you know I'm talking to you. Um, but once he goes into his level 6 after him, they get security attack plus 1 as long as they have reboot. You see where I'm going with this? I'll show you the card just shortly. Uh, finally on level 5s, 2 Migidramon. Card's a good card. Uh, it's 9k body. It's 6 to play out. So on a, on a bad scenario, I can hard cast this. But it is there just in case. So I'm playing a total of 10 level 5s. Quick maths. And then, oh, funny enough, we finished off that lineup. The Greymon lineup. He, he inherently has reboot himself. So even if you don't have the toy argument with this guy, you're okay. Um, he's reboot blocker. So he's a buddy you need to try and get over, and he's not easy to get over. Unless you're Omnimon. Yes, we know Omnimon players are there. And we know Blue gets bullied by them. Blue gets bullied by them. Blue bullies everything else but them. But this card's good. It does what it needs to do. If you have the Greymon under it, you have jamming. If you have the Metal Greymon under it, you have Security Attack plus one. So you're swinging in and aggressing your opponent. And then on that time, you're then slowing your opponent. So I have no quarrels with this card. Now the next card, I'm just going to appreciate the. Uh, I'm actually going to spread these out. Three of Machine Jamal. Now this card is hit and miss with a lot of people. Um, doesn't do um, as much as they'd like to. I'm not too sure, but not many people like this card, and I think it's great. I've had this conversation with a couple of my friends and trying to change the numbers back and forth or what's the best number to have one, two of, four of and I found three I don't see it too often 
I, I don't see it too little, it's just enough. And it's just a good card. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm playing, playing at 12, but people play Pi, uh, Pi, Piedmon, Piedmon, however you want to say it, in purple and, and hard cast it for that kind of cost. I'm going to deed each of all things by two. Two different Digimon. If you have an Omnimon or if you have it, Legimon or anything like level six, I'm going to re remove that and I'm going to take some of your resource away. Yeah, sure, I'm going to give you 12 to work back on, but you've still lost the card. You know, still you've still lost a couple of cards, actually. So he has good value, and then after that, he's a, a 11k blocker. With the Tamer on board, he's 12k. So that's enough to stop things like the Vanillas uh, in most colours at the moment. So I'll run the three of there in the nice ulti form. And then a uh, two of High Uh Cost curves there. It's just sometimes you just need something cheap to go into. You don't want to pass your turnover. So I'm running eight level sixes. And then we run a two of Millennium on. Uh, this is our out to our Omnimon. This is our out to a few of those uh, problematic cards. It's just all around good. And it's always nice to get this on the board and then destroy it and it just comes back out and they feel like they're taking too much. You've, you've wasted their Gaia Force now. Well, I say wasted, but you know you know what I mean. Somebody knows what I mean. And then we play three of Ty. Uh, same principle as the Machine Drummond really here. Um, I spent so many times cutting this out, bumping the numbers up, changing the numbers, gone through, gone through one, two, three, and four. Three's the magic number. Um, I don't want to see it too often. I don't want to pay for this. I ideally want this to be stacked in my security for the first three hits, and then I'm having a good time from there. But that don't happen. Otherwise, this can be security because that's the only reason I really run it. On the other occasion, I'll play it, but three costs, DDG Bowl one. Now, a lot of people play the four cost one because that actually deletes once it gets down to rookie level. But this little section here, the security part, on the four cost one hurts my soul. I mean, it's a solid four out of 10 on the basis that I don't want to pay for that. And you add it to my hand from security. I mean, that, that's just that's just mean. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go with this one because it actually casts itself from security. And like, same principle of change, man. If I can take down a level six, if I can take down the Omnium one, down by one, I'm stripping your resources out. You're only going to have so many of them. Funny fact, you can only have four Omnium one for now. But yeah, that's that's the basis though. And that's the deck. It's, it's literally all about blocking. It's all about building that brick wall defensive lineup. It's not a fast-paced, aggressive deck. Um, but it allows you to control the board. Gets you, um, you know, puts you in a position where they're not going to swing through, uh, swing into you freely. Um, you're always gonna, you, you're gonna have some form of answer. So yeah, if you like the deck, uh, if you got any any ideas for me, anything, uh, any questions around it, leave me a comment. But yeah, thanks for tuning in to Gordo's Games and enjoy.